Southern Alberta was celebrating International Day of Persons with Disabilities today. As Josie Foster explains now, community members were invited to try special sporting events to recognize the impact of disabilities for those living with them. These groups that are here today have removed as many barriers as possible for people to um, have sports and that's so important. Local organizations who provide opportunities for people experiencing barriers to sport came together today. They created an opportunity for people to get moving. Dancing and basketball were popular. Like different than regular basketball. It's better than running. But the main event at the NMAC Center was on the ice. I just did just match hockey for the first time and took a few shots at the park to the net, so and I, very, and I liked it a lot. So Last couple of years I was shut in basically. It gets them out of the house is the main thing and a lot of our sledge hockey players don't visit with other people so it's a good club to get together and visit. I get out more, I go up to Calgary on a regular basis to play, play in a tournament at least once a year. Jason was in a bad car accident that left him without feeling in his left leg. But his club is not just for those who have trouble walking. Anyone wants to play, well, just try it, or if they don't feel like playing regular hockey anymore or can't cut it due to knee injuries, we're, we welcome everybody. Open arms for everybody. Awesome. So I just kind of push? So you just push? Do you use the same stick? Just sticks around. Um, so the this way? curved in towards you. Oh. Uh, no other way, and um, good chance. Thanks, Jason, for teaching me uh, how to play sledge hockey today. Not a problem. Yeah, it's been awesome. For Bridge City News, I'm Josie Foster.